Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Thursday, June 4th, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker Group, Tis Beer Time. So, we've been doing a lot of stuff the last couple of days, and then we're going to keep that going. But we're also still going to talk about beer, because without beer, I don't have a platform to talk about those things and help keep you informed and to help give you a chance to have your voice heard, too. We're going to keep promoting and amplifying people of color, uh, people who maybe don't have the platform they should, try and help them get that. But we're also going to talk about beer because that's what I do. That's who I am. Trump Poker. From our friends at Collective Arts comes the 13th edition of IPA. IPA number 13, a double IPA 8.1% with Strata Zappa, named after the singer and made in conjunction with his family, and Comet Hops, a classic hop, released in 1974. I don't know why I know that. Uh, brewed in collab with Aslan Beer Company down in the States. Uh, Strat and Zappa are relatively new common. Again, like I said, 1974 is one of the oldest hops that we use here in North America. Again, not the classic being noble hop, but as a bittering hop. A lot of dank going in here from what I'm guessing. Uh, I like to read up on the hop profiles, especially if I don't know them. So I'm hoping for a lot of tropical notes. And I'm not sure if this is getting LCBO released. Probably. I mean, all the IPAs seem to. Orange, mango, passion fruit. Definitely some dank. Let's get into it. Cheers, my friends, to Collective for keeping that IPA train rolling. Just bring back IPA number five and eight. Thank you. Cheers. Ooh, Ooh that's good. Oh, that's got some dank. That's got some dank. It's got dank cannabis. It's got some dank notes on uh, pine on the back, but it's again, it is a softer beer. Uh, a little bit of spice though. There is some spicy there, some hop spice, which I really like. One of my favorite things when we get a hop spice beer, but big uh, mango, orange, passion fruit, pineapple. There's definitely grapefruit in there. It is a tropical beer with a dank pine on the back. If you like your dip is big, you're going to like this one, I'm telling you. You know, because like, the IPA series is up and down. Again, they're experimenting with different things, different hops, different styles. You know, we've seen nano IPAs, we've seen brood IPAs, we've seen little IPAs, big IPAs. I like to return to the big IPA. Just just my two cents. I mean, I like big beers too. I, I, funny, I drank a 3.9% beer just before this, and now I'm drinking an 8.1. So it's 12% of beer. I don't know how that works. Is it cumulative? Do you divide it? How do you deal with it? You guys decide. I'm no scientist. Look for this one. Order it online. Why not get a case of audio-visual? I picked up some of this and some audio-visual lager for Mrs. Polk and myself. But, uh, yeah, this one's delicious. Good addition. I put it somewhere in that neighborhood with 11, 8, 5. Like, those were my favorite ones. And I think 2. That's a long time ago, though. So cheers, my friends. Enjoy your day. It's a tasty beer. 